Have you ever wondered why the sensation of speed feels different in an airplane compared to a car? Today, we're going to explore this fascinating phenomenon. You see, there are several key factors that influence how we perceive speed while airborne or on the ground. These include the lack of reference points, the smoothness of the ride, the relative speed, the cabin environment, and the acceleration. In a car, you have trees and buildings whizzing by, giving you a clear sense of how fast you're going, but in a plane, the clouds and ground are so far away that it's hard to gauge your speed. Then there's the ride itself. Cars jostle you around making you keenly aware of your speed, while planes offer a smoother, less turbulent ride. Plus, the speed of an airplane is often measured relative to the air around it, not the ground. Let's dive deeper into these factors and see how they alter our perception of speed. The first two factors we'll examine are the lack of reference points and the smoothness of the ride. When you're cruising in your car, you're surrounded by an abundance of reference points. Trees zoom by, buildings whiz past, and other vehicles help your brain register your speed. In stark contrast, when you're flying, the ground is miles beneath you, and the clouds are your only companions. This lack of close-by reference points makes it difficult for your brain to perceive any movement. Now let's talk about the ride itself. In a car, every bump, every turn, every acceleration is felt immediately, making the speed more palpable. However, airplanes, particularly at cruising altitude, offer a much smoother ride. There's less turbulence, and the air at high altitudes is less dense, providing more stability. This smoothness ultimately reduces the physical sensations associated with rapid movement. So the sky's vastness and the plane's smooth ride contribute to the diminished sense of speed. Now let's talk about relative speed and the cabin environment. When we're discussing the speed of an airplane, we're often referring to airspeed, not ground speed. This means the speed is measured relative to the air around the aircraft, not the ground below. So, while the aircraft may be zipping through the air at hundreds of kilometers per hour, you, the passenger, feel motion relative to the airplane, which is stable and smooth. This is largely thanks to the aircraft's design and its operation at high altitudes. The cabin environment also plays a significant role. The enclosed, pressurized cabin is designed to maximize comfort and minimize the impact of external conditions. This isolation from the outside world further reduces the sensations associated with high-speed travel. You're not just in a vehicle, you're in a controlled environment designed to make your high-speed journey feel nothing more than a leisurely drive. The airplane's stable environment and the way we perceive speed within it further reduce our sensation of high-speed travel. Lastly, we'll discuss the role of acceleration in our perception of speed. In the world of cars, acceleration and deceleration are quite noticeable. You feel the tug as you speed up and the jolt as you hit the brakes. This is because your car is directly interacting with the road and the distances covered are shorter. On the other hand, airplanes give us a different experience. They typically have gradual accelerations and decelerations, especially when cruising at high altitudes. This makes changes in speed less perceptible to us, the passengers. To recap, the sensation of speed when you're flying high in the sky is influenced by a lack of visual and physical reference points. The smoothness of the ride, relative speed, the cabin environment, and the nature of acceleration. So, the next time you're flying, remember these factors that make you feel like you're moving slower than you actually are. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing insights. Safe travels!